I have some security tips for you. And today's tip I want to talk about is passwords. Passwords are kind of easy for identity thieves to guess. Um, there's a lot of people who use common ones, and I wanted to give you some tips on how to avoid being one of those people who gets their identity stolen or compromised. So the first thing I have is a, a list of common passwords. A lot of people use the same kind of passwords. And in 2018, you'll get kind of a kick out of this. By the way, if you have any of these passwords, change them right away. And change them after you watch this video because I'm gonna give you some tips. So I have a handy list here of the top five passwords in 2017. They are one, two, three, four, five, six, the ever clever one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's a different one. QWERTY, which is the top five rows, the top row of your keyboard. Um, the fourth most common one was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight without the nine. And the fifth most popular one was one, 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 one. I actually looked at the list further on and there were some pretty funny ones. One of them was the word password, just all lowercase. Another one was my noob. And another one I saw was Google. So I guess people would think that they're not very common to use, but I don't know. My noob was kind of funny. That was, that was cracking me up. So, okay, so don't use any of those. And I'm going to publish a whole list on underneath this video on the, um, on the comments. So some other things I have for you. So here's, here's some tips is when you should change your password, you should change it once a year. I know that there's some networks and, and rules that say to change it every three months, 120 days or what have you, but I don't know, are you going to remember it that much? You know, um, one of the common problems is that a password, when it's changed that frequently, it's hard to keep track of and you end up having no luck with getting into your accounts because of it and you literally are locking yourself out of the internet out of your bank accounts out of your email out of whatever because you're just changing it too much um when you're thinking about making your password a good thing to do is use what's called a passphrase and it's it's like a sentence an abbreviated sentence of something you like or something you know but not about your family or your your birthday or your dog or whatever like um, I love spending summers in Florida and California would be, uh, you know, whatever it is typed up. So another thing you want to do when you're making your password is put let numbers and punctuation in there, capitals and lowercase and all that stuff. And, uh, but, but they're finding that it's common to put the number in the beginning and the punctuation at the end. But what you want to do is just mix it up. Um, you can use number three for an E number zero for an O, you can uh, use a, an exclamation point for an I, mix it up. Um, another, another tip is, like I said, don't, don't use your personal info, like, like your, you know, your kid's name or your dog's name or whatever. And don't use your birthday. Don't use um, dictionary words, any word that you can find in the dictionary that would be outright spelled like happy H-A-P-P-Y, you might want to replace the A with an at sign and uh, P's with um, sevens or something, but you still actually want to try to avoid that because we're trying to avoid using words at all. Another tip I have for you is, is how often to use your password. You don't want to use it on every single one of your social media, bank sites, email sites, and all that. You don't want to do that. You want to diversify at least a little bit. Um, so kind of spread it out a little bit different passwords for different things, maybe different types of things, different categories like financial stuff with your personal information. You definitely want to have a different password for each one of those. So you want to kind of disperse your password among your sites that you use. The last tip I have for you is, are you going to remember all these passwords? I want it. It's not in the human nature to remember super complex sentences with all these little characters in them and stuff. So one thing that you can do is write them down, but I know you say, oh, well, I usually write them down on a post-it note and put them under my keyboard or in my purse now, and I don't mean that at all. Um, get a password manager. Get a good password manager. So there's a couple that are super easy to use. They get great reviews. There's one called uh, LastPass, 
um, and there's another called Log Me Once. I highly recommend those two. There's others that you might find more to your skills or needs or what have you, but I recommend those. They get great reviews and things. That wraps it up for passwords in a nutshell. I hope you learned some things today and hopefully you'll use these in the future. Keep yourself safe. It's a crazy world out there now. And, um, so just uh, keep yourself protected and I appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next time.